Okay, so you want a transient shaper in Logic, but there doesn't appear to be one. What can you do? Well, actually there is a plugin you can use and that is the Enveloper. Let's have a look at it. It's a very simple plugin. I've got a kick drum here and I wanna make it a bit more punchy. So we can use a transient shaper to adjust the overall shape of the sound. So uh, I've got a kick drum here, it's fairly basic. It's quite noisy, you can hear a bit of tail in there, hopefully a little bit of kind of hiss. Um, and it's quite flat. There isn't much of a there isn't much of a transient to it. Like it's fairly square. So what we can do is we can add one in by using a transient shaper. So I've got my enveloper here, Logic's enveloper. You just go to uh, Dynamics and then enveloper. Uh, it looks like this. It's an older plugin, but it does the job okay. So fairly basic. And all we're going to do is say we wanted to give the attack a bit more punch. Yeah, it's a lot more punchy now. It's basically split into two. There's a gain for the attack and there's a gain for the release. And then there's also a time for the attack and a time for the release. So with the gain, you either turn it up or you turn it down. You can see the shape being changed here. And same with the release, you either boost it or you decline it. So if we want less punch, softening the attack, but we want more. There you go, it's quite punchy. You need to pay attention to the volumes. And so we've got a punchier attack now. We can change the time. It's getting a bit more boomy. As we increase the attack length. And there's too much on the release. So I'm going to get rid of that. See, hear that? I want to do the opposite. There we go, and that's quite severe, but I can do even more if I want. There you go, that's how you can use the enveloper to shape your kicks, your snares, whatever you need to reshape, you can use the enveloper as a transient shaper. If I bounce it in place now, you can actually see the different shape. So you can see we've got a lot clickier kick drum there. And a tail, which is a lot more shorter, so you've got a snappier drum compared to. So now it's a bit less flabby. Hope you found this quick tip helpful. Give it a try and add some more punch to your drums. You can also do exactly the same on the snares and this is perfect if you're doing kind of sound design stuff. And if you wanna go a lot deeper into dynamic control, then maybe check out this video. See you later.